Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Let's go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all to interrupt your new banger or new exclusivity. You will definitely be notified. So, the only man to have beaten, um, um, Tyson, the Gypsy uh, King Fury, John McDermott, has uh, spoken out ahead of Fury Usyk. McDermott is now um, a rubbish clearance, you know, a rubbish clearer in um, excess. Um, uh, according to McDermott, he said, um, is a big quiet at the moment, not much work around when he was approached by his son. And uh, he said, uh, I quote, I made 25 grand from fighting him. I didn't earn enough to buy a house. Two fights a year, usually 15 grand each. Minimum wage in it I was not bitter at Tyson Fury when I stopped. But I was at the spot. I, I still am. I was in the car park and Fury's dad came up to me and said, I thought you won that, mate. We were lucky to get the decision. It changed my career. I definitely want it if I don't know how the referee scored it. It rounds to him and two to me. Fury didn't say a word. I was literally waiting in the changing room for someone to come and say there's been a mistake. I don't know if people know, but my dad had knocked that referee out twice. Well, you heard it, guys. The reason why McDermott was robbed against Fury was because his dad knocked the referee out uh twice basically um before and then the referee then you know basically avenged uh take like basically avenged him being knocked out um uh, by mcdemot's dad on his son on mcdemot on john mcdemot so i said this before listen the fury usik fight is a very tricky fight um of course the fury we see now is not the same fury because the fury that fought mcdemod was a very um a technical fury um didn't put much power much power to his punches they didn't really engage like that um it was very um basically hesitant to get hit and mcdemod did win the of course there was a rematch with fury won but the first fight, I think Mademot got that, had that fight. Mademot literally he won that fight in the eyes of the boxing fans. In the eyes of the re-boxing fans, I say. Because some people will always be um, um, a fan of Fury because they feel uh, Fury, um, yeah, because Fury was tipped to be the next big thing then, they give you a decision. This is why you see I respect Joshua a lot because I don't think Joshua has had a fight where he lost and was given this shit. Some people might say, "Where the what about the Takam fight?" Well, he literally won the fight. Takam didn't win. Takam didn't win the fight, and Joshua hurt Takam. Not just that, Takam came to fight. Takam was very like ready, uh, but he just couldn't. He didn't want to engage too much because he knew Joshua could easily clip him um, and knock him out, basically. So, we know that Fury has a loss on his resume, but it's not an official loss. Okay, he lost to McDermott. John McDermott beat Fury. Now, John McDermott is now a trash um, lara. Basically, people that, um, you know, clear the doors and stuff like that. I mean, from being um, at that, from beating Fury to, to being a, a, a trash clearer, a clearer is very, like, a little bit sad in a way. This, the, this is the, the life of boxers, you know. Some boxers that, that's why you see all these people that, that, that's why all these people, some of them have to sell out 
in order to get their name up there. You know, even John Fury, for John Fury to to work to to work towards Mark Demo and say, listen, I believe you won the fight. We got a lucky one there. It was a lucky decision for us. It shows John Fury. John Fury is a menace, but the guy is very truthful. Like like. Of course, he has to be biased when it comes to the song. But at the end of the day, John Fury is is a very honest person, very like very upright person. Basically, he might have like a, a balance sometimes. You know, it's just one of those things that happens because emotions are running high. John Fury, I don't know. I, I just I've I just I've I've just never hated John Fury. I don't know. There is nothing to really um. So there is nothing to really like um. Uh, hate on in a way you know what i mean because fury john fury to me i look at that man you know he's 59 now you know he's been through hell you know as a gypsy the gypsy life is not easy bro the gypsies you know they've been through hell if you look at their history it's not easy they are different they are various uh types of gypsies though but some of them like the one all gypsies have been through like a hell in, in my opinion so john fury is a very honest guy You're an honest man i have to say that i have to give it to him um for him to walk up to my demo and say listen i think you you will want that fight but you won that fight but we got a we got a lucky one so the reason why mac demot lost was get, we lost to like officially lost to fury is because his dad mac demot's dad I knocked out the referee uh twice you know this is why the judges one of the judges there like also gave a, um um yeah one of the judges not referee yeah not the referee twice because the referee was like the referee was very bad in that fight and also one of the, the judges were on payroll bro. let's keep it real you know this is why jo tassi fury will always stick to to um to frank warren because frank warren knows listen bro frank warren knows how to give you fights that basically would you know that you can win frank warren can build you up with bombs you know but my demo is a very very um very uh nice guy humble and to think of it though, McDermott's story is very uh, kind of inspiring in a way. So he was a real worker basically in his early years. Can you believe that? That is crazy, man. Man, it's crazy. McDermott was a real worker according to the article I'm seeing right. This article was from, from last year. 12th of July. Wow, man, it's crazy. Ah, oh, man, this is why this is the thing with boxing, bro. Imagine if McDemo had the win, or if he was given the win. Of course, Fury, you know, beat him in the rematch, but it's just like, you know, it's just if my demo was with um a team that really. <clears throat> If he had a if if he was tipped to be the next big thing and had a team good team around him, he would have been he would have he wouldn't have been robbed. But right now we're heading into the Usyk Fury fight. Um I already saw the judges. Um it's just uh yeah, the, there's no British judge. Uh, uh, I think it's two American judges and one and one Canadian judge, you know. There's no British judge, there's no Mexican uh no Mexican judge, no no African judge, no Ukrainian judge, nothing bro. But we'll see how it plays out, man. Big ups to McDemot for speaking facts and yeah. Um boxing is a brutal sport, bro. And um it's crazy, man. He was basically on top uh not on top but he got robbed he was supposed to be on top and he got like he made a fought, he fought twice I, yeah i think if he was with Eddie Hearn, i think he would have fought more 
And he didn't love people that come to fight. And McDermott is a warrior, bro. He, he loves to fight. He loves to fight. But he said he's still in the game, though. But he's, I think he's a little bit too old now, basically. So now it's just, um, yeah, it's one of those things, you know, he did with. Wow. Uh, stay tuned, guys, for my video right here. And God bless you all.